Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to be give that A in your coursework. And today we're here for Spell Checker Part 2. So, if you have not watched my first Spell Checker video, be sure to click the I up in the corner of this video. You will need this as I'm literally just adding to that code. So today we're going to be starting to do some simple grammar checking. This is going to be stuff like full stops, capital letters, and any I has to be uppercase if it's by itself. So let's get right into it. So what we really want to do first is actually create a method. And that's what we're going to do. So underneath our check word, we're going to create a new method. So we're going to do public static boolean grammar check. String input and int length. So, what's going on here? So, it's a public method. Anything in this class can access the method. Static, we don't need to create an instance of this class to access this method. And Boolean... What the hell's going on with my mouse? Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea. Boolean means that it's going to return a boolean value, grammar check is the name, string input is going to be the first parameter, and int length is going to be the second parameter. Right, so, at the start of this we're going to do boolean valid grammar equals true. Oh jeez, guys, guys, I made a big mistake. Don't put a space in your variable names. You can't do that. Sorry about that, guys. I'm half asleep. One do now we want to do int last character equals length minus one. So what are we doing here? So we're creating a boolean. Basically, when we take in the input, we're going to assume that it's going to be valid in terms of grammar. Uh, int last character, we need to get the last character of the input, and the last character will be equal to the length minus one. This is for checking if there's a full stop, because a full stop will always go at the end of our sentence. That That's correct grammar, correct? Good. Now we need to do if input dot char at last character, if I can actually spell, not equal to dot. So basically, if the last character isn't equal to a full stop, valid grammar equals false. Why? Well, no matter what, if the full stop isn't at the end of the sentence, it's going to be incorrect. You're going to have incorrect grammar and you should take some simple English lessons. Also, you want to do sys system.out.println and just put missing full stop at the end of the sentence or something like that. Why are we doing this? We just want to be able to inform the user of their mistake. Now we need to do if not character dot is upper case input dot char at zero. This is going to be checked if the first letter of our sentence is an upper case. So basically, if the first letter of our string, which is just a sentence as of now, isn't an uppercase, then it's going to be invalid, correct? So we're going to copy and paste this. And we're going to do something like... Must start with an uppercase character or number. So that's what the error message is going to be. I'm going to do valid grammar equals false. And underneath that, we're going to do return valid grammar. Basically, if the, if the uh, input that the user gives passes these two checks, then valid grammar is going to still be true and not be changed to false. So then we can just return true. So now what we need to do. We need to call this grammar check. So we're going to call it in the spell check. And we're actually going to call the grammar check before checking the spelling. So we're going to be doing if not 
grammar check input and input.length will pass in the length of the string that they inputted and I might have misspelt it and it's meant to be grammar check not grammar check like my variables which say grammar as opposed to grammar I don't know why I'm doing that guys so undo no errors equals false so why are we doing that so if the grammar check returns false we want to turn no errors to false because no errors being true would imply that there are no errors with the input no errors being set to false implies that there has to be at least one error so that's what we're doing there now we're going to do one last thing and that is we're going to check if an i is an uppercase or not if it's by itself because that's what we need to do so we need to go to our check word and inside our check word we're going to put it here we could make a method, however, we're going to be reshuffling and recreating certain methods later on in the series. So I'm going to just put it here for now. We'll do if input.trim.equals ignored case. No, I made, I, made a, I made a big mistake. Equals I. We don't want to ignore the case. You have to do it if it's an uppercase. And we can actually just check for the uppercase i because uh, comparing strings will take cases into account. Like before we had to do equals ignore case because obviously we didn't want to have uppercase and lowercases and all the combinations of all the cases for our words in our dictionary. So we do valid equals true because obviously the i is an uppercase when it's by itself. And we can do else if input dot trim dot equals i so we can check it for the lowercase i and we can put valid equals false and that's all guys that's literally all we have to do also i did update um my dictionary which is just an array you can update it by changing the length and add in more words to the new element so my sentence is greetings it is max who diddly here and i am greeting you and obviously, I just have each word in that sentence for the purpose of this video. In reality, you could read it from a file. You could just create a massive array, whatever you want. So this should return true. And it says no errors. So by saying no errors, it's saying it's all fine. Let's remove the full stop. Oh, it, it's, it's saying missing full stop at the end of the sentence. That is correct. That's what we want. Now let's do a lowercase g. Oh, look, it's missing full stop at the start of the sentence. Must start with an uppercase character or number. So, guys, that's what we... Oh, we also need to do a lowercase i, just to double check. So, we're going to put i there. Oh, and look, it says i is spelt incorrectly. Because that's why it would come up with in something like Word. Anyway, guys, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. By the way, guys, you are going to be seeing more regular coding tutorials. I want to try take this channel somewhere and to do that I need to upload more so be sure to actually leave requests in the comments I will do them you get a shout out it's all good thanks for being a great audience and share with your friends because then we can all get a stars thanks for being a great audience I'll see you next time